got some action here, fellas. We're pumped up. The second base market starting to start thin itself out a little bit, right? Well said. Thank you. I'm Lex Dat with the MLB.com Fast Cast. The Mets solidified their infield this afternoon, agreeing to a two-year deal worth $20 million with Jed Lowry. Lowry, who spent the last three seasons with the Oakland A's, is coming off his first All-Star appearance while setting career highs with 23 home runs and 99 RBI. Lowry joins a stacked Mets infield that includes holdovers Todd Frazier, Ahmed Rosario, and Jeff McNeil, as well as newcomer Robinson Cano. MLB Network analyst Dan Plesak discusses the team's transformation this offseason. You looked at the Mets six, seven months ago, and it looked bleak. All of a sudden now, they bring in Jed Lowry, who was a big part of that swing at A's team last year. They bring in Cano. They bring in Diaz. They sign Wilson Ramos. They bring in Lowry. They have Gazelman and Lugo in a bullpen, and they bring back Yuri's Familia. I'm buying the Mets weren't the only NL East team adding to their infield as the Nationals agreed to a one-year deal worth $9 million with second baseman Brian Dozier. The longtime twin who was traded to the Dodgers before last season's non-waiver trade deadline has hit at least 20 home runs in each of the past five seasons. And when we network analyst Dan O'Dowd believes this is a great addition for Washington. When you look at the Nationals right now, you just they have athletes all over their field. Dozier, for me, is a prime bounce-back guy. In 2016, 2017, Danny, 42 99, 34 106. Mm. Don't think he was healthy last year. It's just one of those years. They just added another impact bat in a lineup that starts to stretch out further and further and further. The Brewer signing of Yasmani Grandal may have an effect on the JT Real Muto trade market, according to MLB.com Marlins reporter Joe Fusario. The Braves, Dodgers, and Astros are among six teams that are in the running to acquire the all-star catcher, according to Rosario. With Grandal off the board, those teams could feel a sense of urgency to try and get something done with the Marlins. The pending signing of Yasmani Grandal with the Milwaukee Brewers creates a little bit of urgency and need for a catcher for the Dodgers because if Grandal's return to L.A. was in the books, that no longer appears the option. And now it's kind of getting the crunch time. You know, these teams, uh, you know, especially the teams that have World Series or bust on, on the line, you know, those are the, probably the teams that are going to make the strongest push. For more on these stories and complete hot stove coverage, keep it locked to MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.